What is up you guys it's your boy DJ Lil back again with another tutorial now following up on a tutorial that I did last about panning in Cubase here we are in reason for another panning episode so let's go ahead without wasting more time but before I get into it if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe and hit the notification button and give this video a thumbs up and uh, let's get back to business now what we have here I've got uh, uh, I've got a sample here that I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to pan vocals in a mix, especially you want to pan uh, your backing vocals. So, like I said last time, if I want to put backing vocals, I try to put as many octaves as possible as uh, the artist can do. So you might have two, three pairs of uh, back in focus, but I usually take two because I want to pan them left and right. Okay, without wasting more time, let's get to this example and let me show you exactly how uh, what I mean here. So we in reason here. So let's go. Hey, you gotta shine like a motor, ooh, yeah. You gotta shine like a motor, ooh, yeah. You gotta roll like a motor, ooh, yeah. So the type of back in focus we're looking for is these. Like I said earlier, you have to do similar text or two texts of similar uh, voice and then pan them left and right. So here we got these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So here in Reason, you just have to go ahead and go to the mixer, which is the console, and every channel is already rooted there. And you don't need to stress about it. You go to your mixer, you look for your backing vocals. In this case, I always, I always advise people to name their tracks so they don't get lost on the mixer as uh, the session gets piling up, piling up with vocals and instruments all over. It gets bigger and wider, so you don't want to get lost in it. So for me, I just say backing one left and backing one right so it's b1 l b1 r for the right so i'll go ahead to my mixer and i'll look for those which are here i mean you can change the color for easy identification as well so uh that's just another thing i do usually uh, i can just go ahead and select these guys and maybe change their color uh, clip color then maybe put lead okay I might want to go to channel as well track color let's put red and another red there so once that is done then it's usually visible here and you can see them here so this is your channel all the way up here it's your channel it goes way up there you got compressors you got uh or you got on an ssl digital mixer but this is emulated of course but uh that's another topic for another day let's get back to the panning so here is where you get your panning because as you can see this channel here for the beat is for the for the keyboard it's on the center so if i'm if i'm to pan it i'll go left or right right so i'll keep it on the center which is a uh, zero wait this is zero zero okay then I go to my vocals here then I can pan them hard left and hard right I go back and listen to them oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah so you can adjust as you go it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean they have to go hard right or hard left you can 
uh, put them somewhere there. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. So th this sort of like uh, gives it a more wider feel to it, a more studio uh, wider feel to it. It brings a change and a feel to your music and it just sound interesting and nice to the ear of the listeners. So as you build up the song, you might want to do this uh, uh, panning because let's take it from the example and listen to it and see how it sounds and builds up from there. So it's a solo voice from the start and then builds up. Let's hear. sometimes, ooh, oh. Oh, my feel sometimes, ooh, yeah, hey. Oh, pop sometimes, ooh, Sometimes, ooh, hey, you gotta shine like a motor, ooh, yeah. You gotta shine like a motor, ooh, yeah. You gotta roll like a motor, ooh, yeah. You gotta dress like a motor, ooh, yeah. You gotta feel a feel a feel a ooh, yeah. You gotta shine like a motor, ooh, yeah. You gotta roll like a motor, ooh, yeah. Go massive feel, massive feel a ooh, yeah. Yeah, go massive. So as you can see, it just makes the voice more wider and brings a nice feel to the music. Now, we, that's as simple as that. You're done panning. And believe you me, try using this on different sets of octaves and you hear how cool it sounds. But as always, I'll leave it to you to experiment and see what you can come up with and how your music will sound like and change after you apply this method to it. So have fun and until next time, you guys stay blessed. <laughs>